Hi everyone and welcome back to Fiber by Nature and we finished 2020 and it's 2021. Um, so today I am going to show you how to use Sari Silk. Oh, some sorry, the Sari Silk. So this is um the Sari Silk that I unboxed from my birthday video and this is actually um how I made the roll egg how I'm making the roll eggs for the spinning wheel project that I showed you in my update video. So, um, yeah, that's what we'll be doing today. So this is some, the, some indigo dyed fiber that I showed you in the project update as well. Um, yeah, so it's done with natural indigo and I had a dyeing class, so this is where I did it with. Actually, I had it with Unique Astrid, which I will link her channel um, down below so you can watch her channel. She is also a kid, and she knits crochets, and she's very sweet as well. So, yeah. Um, so I took that dyeing class with her, and I will be showing you how to make the Rolex. So... I'm using my Ashford Carters, um, and so this is, so you basically want to do the same thing as normal carding, but there's, um, something, uh, that you have to do a special, a little bit special with the sorry silk. So I'm just going to lay down the base with the indigo. So this wool I got from Paradise Fibers, which I will link in the description down below. Um, it is Cheviot, and if you are interested, then like I said, I'll link it down below. And I'm telling you now, just in case you don't have time to go down in the description box and look through the links. So now that I have a sufficient amount, you want to put down some sorry silk. But um, you want to make sure you don't put in too much so that it's not extremely muddy. Um, so you want to fluff it out. And Paradise Fibers also has a video for um, uh, using Sorry Silk on their channel. So I will link their channel and their video um, in the description as well. So you just want to fluff it out like I did here and spread it out. And then you're just going to lay it in the area areas that you want it but don't put too much because it'll spread out but you just want to lay like a couple layers down like that and then you're just going to want to cart it and you can add more if you want but um just make sure you like finish like carding and then if you want to add more then you can add more just wait until you're done um a little bit done so that you can see how it turns out so this is what i have so far and to transfer back if you don't remember you're going to leave you're going to take the fluffy part and scrape it and then to push it down i just pack it down like this to make roll eggs um i'm going to get my ne knitting needles and i'll be back so i am back with my knitting needles and this is how you make a roll egg so you want to take the um the end fluff and you need to make sure everything's packed down and then you take the end here and then t you like you roll it so you like catch it and then you roll it oh okay so um sorry about that um i just like kicked the camera so i like stopped recording so you didn't really miss much except for i just pull it off so basically you just roll it like you have your carter and then you roll it towards the end and then you'll end up with this so don't 
take it off yet. So if you want, I mean, you could take it off, but it'll most likely fall apart into a little bat, like a little rectangle thingy. But I want to make a ro roll egg, so I'm just going to roll it onto the on the carter so that the um like the little spikes or what you whatever you call them like catch it so you could also do this by pulling back and then re um rolling it and then repeat pull back and then roll again this isn't the professional way to do it but it's the way i do it and it works so once you've done that and you've got it enough you want to take one out you want to take it one out of time so take out the first one and then you're going to take out the second one and this is a roll leg right here so i will make another one for you so that you can see the whole process again so you take the wool or whatever you're carting with the thing i suggest wool because Cotton and sorry silk are both very staple length and you um very short staple length so I w suggest that you have a long staple length um and then mix it with a uh, with the sh sorry sorry silk so we'll lay it onto your carter nope. Once you have enough, then you can take a little bit of the sorry silk, and then you're just gonna lay it, like spread it out across the carter. You don't want, like I said earlier, you don't want to put too much sorry silk here, so that it doesn't get muddy. Cause sorry silk has little bit. I don't think you can see in the camera, but you can see that there's little different colors since this was originally a like a fabric, um, so the color is like mixed sort of, and you don't want it to end up all muddy, so you don't want to mix the colors too much. So what, this is a fairly good amount, just like a light covering on the top. And then after that, um, what you could also do is put a thinner layer at the bottom and lock it in with this, with the wool. Like, like so, so that you're like locking it, the fiber in. But don't worry, if it doesn't show here, then um, it, it'll, if the sorry silk doesn't sh show through the top layer of wool, it won't um, matter because when you spin a roll leg, you spin it like this. So the little s bits of sorry silk in there will pop out. So just do a quick uh, carding. Then you pack it down. Put this up here. Make sure it's not too long at the end. Make sure it's sort of even here. So pack it down a lot. And then you're gonna take two knitting needles or dowels, whatever so, sort of sticks you have. And then you're gonna um, catch the end of it. So take what left and then you're gonna just roll it towards you in my case, but, or roll it t um, away from you if, if you have your paddle the other way. So you're also gonna wanna pull a little bit so that the fiber stretches and it's just not you're rolling it up and then yeah that's basically how you make a roll egg and like i said with the last one there's there's going to be stuff here so to fix that you could also you could uh just roll it on your carter and the little tying things will uh uh, like sort of 
not felt it, but like push the remaining fiber here. And then you're going to take out one, then you're going to take out the other. And that is how you use sorry, how I use sorry silk and how to make a roll egg. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this, um, video and, um, I hope you have a great 2020 and I will see you soon. Bye.